Hi, this is Jessica and this is J&J &J Family Vlogs and this video I'm going to share with you guys these really good recipes that I like, that my family likes and it's crock pot freezer ready meals. It's all just one pound, each bag is one pound of chicken and different ingredients and you freeze it and you can freeze it up to three or four months and then thaw it out, put it in your crock pot for some are six to five, um, five to six hours, some are three to six hours, but it all depends on what the recipe is. You just put it in your crock pot and when it's done, you just serve it on like rice or soup or tortillas and they're really easy. I'll leave the recipes in the description box below. Let's get started. The first one I'm gonna show you guys is the lemon pepper chicken recipe. It's one pound of chicken. I already cut up the pieces that we needed. This is skinless, boneless chicken breast. I've already put one fourth cup of virgin olive oil in there. And next we need juice from one lemon. So we're going to do that. I have this hand juicer. <laughs> I stepped on Rocky's tail. <laughs> He's not happy. <laughs> He wants some chicken. Whenever we get raw meat out, Rocky is all up in the Kool-Aid. He wants some raw chicken or raw hamburger. And if you don't have a lemon, the recipe also suggests just three tablespoons of lemon juice. If you don't know which one exactly to get, this is what I use, the Italia lemon juice. But since I have a lemon, I'm going to use it. And that looks like a lot more than three tablespoons. I'm just going to pour it in there. After the lemon, you all you need is salt and pepper after that. This, the pepper is one half teaspoon of pepper put that in the bag like that. I just throw it on top and one fourth teaspoon of salt and just, I just throw it on top and then Ziploc it and then you just mix it all together. Just move all the ingredients around and then it's ready to freeze. What I do so that there's no confusion when you get it out, I get a Sharpie and I write down the um, lemon pepper chicken when I made it and the cooking instructions. It says, the night before cooking, move frozen bag from your refrigerator to thaw, thaw over night. And the morning, pour contents in freezer bag into a slow cooker and cook low for three to six hours and then cook until tender through and then serve on rice and broccoli serve on rice and broccoli and that's it so that, that way so there's no confusion or like oh no what kind of chicken recipe is this so that makes it a lot easier when you're about to cook so that's my first recipe for today the next recipe is called red pepper chicken and you need same as the other one one pound of chicken, same as the other one, one fourth cup of olive oil. This is extra virgin. I get the organic peppers at my grocery store. And if you don't have organic ones, just get the best ones that they have. Just make sure it's red. I don't think it would taste the same if it was any of the other peppers. And it says one medium size red pepper chopped. And I get the seeds out. The recipe says slices, but I like to chop it up very fine because it just tastes better and it goes better on the tortilla that way. So I not only cut it long ways, but after I cut it long ways, I cut them horizontal as well. And that makes them a, a nice fine texture when you're putting it on your tortilla. Okay, I have my chopped red pepper. So you just put all that in your bag. It's a little messy. If you think this is too much, I kind of thought that too at first, but when you cook it in the crock pot, they will cook down and they won't be as, as big and it won't be as much. And the next ingredients is chopped onion, but I don't use chopped onions. I use onion powder. So for one serving of onion, for whatever the recipe calls, I use a half a tablespoon for the onion powder. Um, one teaspoon of crushed red pepper. This is a half a teaspoon, so I'm gonna use it twice. 
a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Just drop it in there. A fourth a teaspoon of your salt. And that's all. That's all the ingredients you need for the red pepper chicken. And then I squeeze all the air out and I make sure it's nice and locked. And I mix the ingredients. Make sure you get all the black pepper mixed in. And it's ready. I label it just like with the lemon. This is red pepper chicken. Thaw overnight. Cook low. Three to six hours. And serve on tortillas with lettuce, cheese, and tomatoes. Oh, the date. Can't forget the date. November 14th, 2017. And these are the two recipes for today. I really like them. They're really easy. Just take them out of the freezer, thaw them, and put them in your crock pot. And then you, your dinner is ready in just three to six hours. When I cook this, a little, t a little tip, it doesn't say this on the recipe, but this is what I do. I take the juice for the lemon pepper chicken. I take the juice after everything's cooked. I take the juice from the crock pot and I leave the chicken in the crock pot and I chop up the chicken really fine so it goes on the rice. I chop it up really fine and I, then I put the juice back on to the chicken and that's what gives it the really good flavor and the lemon flavor and it's really good on buttered rice. So that's a little tidbit that the recipe doesn't say do. That's, that's what I do. That's it for the today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment below and give us a thumbs up if you guys like this these recipes. Thank you. Bye.